Okay, so the next step after importing uh, your project will be importing monitoring locations. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take this uh, template example that I have been using, and I'm gonna import my monitoring locations. So I hope you start seeing repetition here, um, but instead of importing, previously we had um, imported our projects. Now we are going to be importing monitoring locations into the staging area. So I go ahead and I select that I am importing the type of data that is monitoring locations. I can go to this. So once everyone has gotten to this page, we can start to double check things. Uh, first being, is it the correct worksheet? Is it the fourth worksheet? And we all know the answer to that is yes. Um, is the type of file correct? That is, yes it is. Um, I do have to generate my organization ID because um, these are templates. We don't want to be defaulting an organization for a template. So again, I'm going to go ahead and find my W2X test organization. Uh, this, for this hypothetical import uh, of locations, I'm going to assume that this is new data only. Uh, I'm going to choose my Alex's template example. And just like the project, uh, double check everything, make sure everything looks right, new data only, the organization ID is correct. Um, we have the fourth worksheet, that's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and import the data. And because we've been importing the same file um, for projects and now monitoring locations, this, it's gonna say, do you wanna delete your existing data sets? And we did um, properly my, uh, migrate our products in. So I'm gonna click yes and just uh, re-import this file. And let's see what happens. Let's see if we have any errors that occur. Okay, so it looks like that we have um, invalid domain values. Uh, with our import file. Um, we are attempting to import nine monitoring locations. Uh, and so let's go, like we had done with troubleshooting for the project, let's go into our event log first and let's see what the error is. So invalid value of Salt Lake for monitoring location county when monitoring location state is Utah. So let's go back and let's resolve this online and let's see what the actual value should be. So I went, I, I clicked return out of the event log and now we're back into the data set detail page. Um, because I know that it's just a quick invalid domain value that's the same, I'm gonna click on resolve online and let's fix this error in, this, uh, in, in the system without having to go back into Excel to fix it. So uh, the element is the monitoring location county. So, I am going to go ahead and click on the invalid value Salt Lake and let's change it to the correct one. So it's funny, it needs a code as opposed to the county name. So you can see that Salt Lake is listed, but they actually want the FIPS code instead. So I'm gonna change it from Salt Lake to this 035. And you can see that the value has changed from Salt Lake to 035. And I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And in doing so, uh, it will say state is successful, and you'll see that the domain value resolution, there are no resolutions left because that was the only one we had to do. If you want to be savvy next time you do a resolution like this, if you click return after selecting the correct element, it not only saves that translation, but it also takes you back to the previous page. I just clicked save because I like to show you the whole process. So now that we've resolved that one error, I'm going to go ahead and revalidate these changes. And this file is now ready to be uh, exported and submitted to CDX. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. And I have all my information already set up. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And my monitoring locations have now been submitted uh, to WQX.